Are there any sharks? Wow. Ready to go. All ready. Let's talk about this place called Tasmania. Lush green forests crash into white sand beaches and steep mountains overlook turquoise and deep blue waters. From that first scenic flight over Freysenay National Park, I was, I was hooked. To most foreign travelers and even many Australians, Tassie's a forgotten place. And that's exactly why I wanted to come here. Just touched down in Hobart, Tasmania. Got my rental car, and I'm ready for an adventure. Let's go. From Hobart, I traveled up the Great Eastern Drive, and at first glance, I saw shades of Ireland. It was rolling hills, farmland dotted with off-white sheep, and unpredictable weather. But as you move closer, the similarities to Ireland, or anywhere else for that matter, quickly go away. You pass through these modest towns that seem to pop up out of nowhere, and an incredible coastline that goes forever. And as you make your way across the state, the landscape changes dramatically. Getting up into the mountains now. From the vibrant rocks at the Bay of Fires and the painted cliffs at Mariah Island, to the thick forests of Lake St. Clair and Southwest National Park, the natural beauty here is stunning. But to me, the most unique thing about Tasmania is the abundance of wildlife that calls this place home. Talking about paddy melons in the forest and, and walking up to echidnas in the mountains, kookaburras cruising around, kangaroos passing by, and the coolest one of them all, this guy, the wombat. Built like a little furry tank, he'll bum rush you and bite you in the ankles if he's threatened or annoyed. But most of the time, he couldn't care less who's around. Oh, and baby wombats might be the cutest thing you'll ever see. And at night, I even had the chance to meet a creature that I've been wanting to see since I was a kid watching Saturday morning cartoons. The Tasmanian Devil. In the flesh, eating flesh. Oh, there are some impressive teeth. Yeah, amazing. But I have to say, the best animal encounter actually came out at sea rather than on land. And it wasn't these incredible dolphins following our boat. On a cruise out to Mariah Island, past the playful dolphins and rugged coastline, was Seal Island. And on the first day out, I witnessed the island residents living and playing among the rocks, and I was captivated. So I asked the captain if I could come back another day for a closer look. So on my second time out, with a boat full of older vacationers, I freaked everybody out by throwing on some goggles and jumping in to meet the locals. And as I began to swim over, the boat pulled away to go explore some of the caves on the other side of the island. And just like that, I was all alone in the cold ocean water with hundreds of seals. I spent the better part of 20 minutes just swimming alongside them absolutely in awe. And when the boat came back around to pick me up, they escorted me back out to sea. And just as I reached the boat, they dove deeper and disappeared in the distance. It was a once in a lifetime, completely unfiltered encounter with nature. And I was on a crazy high.
back on dry land, hungry from all the adventures, it was time to eat. Unlike most places now where organic or farm-to-table dining is trendy, in Tasmania it's just what they know. I got my first taste of local cuisine at the Freysene Marine Farm as I sat down with the manager and talked about quality and sustainability over some delicious shellfish. And then I met this man, Des from the Pelican Point Sanctuary in St. Helens, who on one of my last days in town invited me to a family barbecue. But in true Tazzy fashion, we had to go out and get the supplies ourselves. Go check out the oyster operation this morning. We went down to the harbor to watch our oysters get directly pulled out of the water and, and of course give them a taste test. And from there we went over to the Rock Lobster Halfway House to pick up a few bad boys for the grill. Back at the barbecue, other friends brought lamb chops and steaks straight from the butcher, abalone from another fisherman, and even the bread was made from scratch. We seeded it, and now with cooked it. It was an absolute feast, and the perfect picture of what Tasmania is. Throughout my time here, I could find similarities in certain aspects of Tassie to other places I've been, like Ireland, Maine, or Oregon. But the truth is, the sum of all of its parts is completely unique to anything I've ever seen. Nature is preserved, wildlife roams free, and food is raised rather than manufactured. And that's what makes Tasmania so special. It's wild and delicious. Fresh lobster in Tasmania. Oh, just the natural flavors from the water to the grill. Unbelievable. Well done.